Hello, I'm John Weston, Director of Business Operations for Centerville City Schools. For the summertime, it's probably the busiest time for our maintenance crew uh, at Centerville City Schools. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that once staff and students leave the buildings, our maintenance teams are very busy working in buildings, uh, getting buildings clean, getting buildings ready. Uh, we take the time each year to prioritize projects um, for our buildings and, and look at what's needed to uh, make our buildings better from an infrastructure standpoint and to be able to do those projects in the summertime is really crucial. So it is probably the busiest time of the year uh, for our maintenance team. Thanks to the Permanent Improvement Fund, or a PI levy, uh, we're able to take on some of the projects uh, that you'll see in this video. Uh, the PI Fund uh, was approved in 1998 by our community, uh, which generates about $2.5 million for us to be able to upgrade our facilities. Uh, PI money can only be used for our buildings and for fixed assets and equipment uh, that we have to, to help use and operate and keep our buildings in top shape uh, for our staff and students. Each year, a significant portion of the PI money goes toward purchasing new school buses. Uh, we purchase eight or nine buses each year with an approximate cost of $95,000 per bus. Uh, this saves us from having to replace the entire fleet at one time. The rest of the money is used to maintain 1.3 million square feet of space in 15 buildings, the oldest of which is 95 years old, with several others more than 50 years old, plus nearly 350 acres and 1.7 million square feet of pavement. Uh, we have to prioritize our projects accordingly to make sure that the money lasts for our improvements. For example, this summer we are finishing up a carpet project at Centerville High School. This project was started in 2017 and a majority has been completed over three phases. We also have been upgrading HVAC units to make our buildings more energy efficient. This project has taken several years as we work within our budget and this summer we are replacing 18 classroom units at John Hall, Normandy and Stingley Elementary. You may have heard about the extensive work going on at Primary Village North. After many years of repairing and clamping pipes, we are replacing the galvanized hot and cold water pipes and water heater in the oldest part of the building. Four restrooms at Driscoll and John Hole Elementary are being upgraded this summer with new floor tile, partitions, fixtures, and plumbing hardware. Classroom carpet replacement, gym floor refinishing, concrete and paving repair, and painting are a few other maintenance tasks that take place in different locations throughout the district when school is not in session. The work you see may be routine or even go unnoticed, but this is the reason why our buildings have lasted through the years. Uh, we have many projects we would like to complete and do throughout the year, and it's important for us to prioritize and to work within a, our budget and to make fiscal decisions that are important to upgrading our buildings but obviously we have a lot of projects, a lot of buildings that we need to maintain and improve on each and every year. So with that being said, I would like to thank our supporters and what you do for our community and for our school system and helping us to provide a safe and effective learning environment for our staff and students.